Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today I'm trying out a brand that's new to me. This is Heather Lou Cosmetics, um, which is the UK indie brand I believe. And this is the eyeshadow palette called Ella. And this is what she looks like on the inside. I think we can all see why I was interested in this one. Um, but also I have a beautiful little niece called Ella. Um, who is going to love this, especially as I am looking to do a pink look today. So uh, let's give this a go and see what she's like. She, it's, it's a big palette, so it's going to be difficult to keep holding up and show you what colours I'm using, but I will give it my best go. Um, so first, I think I'm going to go in with, if you can see, this pink here. I've primed my eyes with the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. Um, I'm quite enjoying that actually at the moment. And I'm just going to me place this one just as my transition shade. Just bringing it through the crease. Okay. That's... Uh, Got some pigment, but it seems to be blending really easily. Blending out. Okay. So far, so good. Anyone that knows me knows I'm a sucker for an indie brand. So uh, when I saw this, I had to try it. Had to give it a go, especially as it had all these beautiful colours. Yeah, this is going on really nicely. It's a really, uh, really nice colour actually. Okay, so I'm liking this so far. So next, I think, I think we're going to make this like a pinky purpley look. I'm going to make it a pinky purpley look. Hmm. I think I'm going to try, let me try and hold this up. This colour just above and uh, just go into my crease with that. And see what that does. I've got the shakes really bad today. I have no idea why. So if you can see my shaking, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it is what it is. I'm just keeping this one lower down. So it just blends into the pink above. I think I'm going to go in with a purple in the outer V just to oh nice that's like a pink with a a purple hint in it like a purpley pink Um, so next, I think we'll just follow the same actually. I'm going, same row, I'm going to go in with this uh, purple here for the outer V and see what that looks like. Just uh, taking it just a little bit into the crease, just on the, the outer part there. But I want to keep the majority pink around there. It's not a bad purple. Not quite as uh, deep as I thought it was going to be, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Okay. 
Now I think actually I'm going to, there's a purple here that's a bit darker. So I think I'm going to go in with a little bit of that and just see if I can deepen up the uh, out of it a little bit more. So just a little bit of that. That's nice. Hmm. I think that was a good choice. Okay, so I'm going to nip back into the first pink just a little bit. Just to... Uh, Re-intensify that pink a bit. Um, okay, so for the lid, sticking with the pinky theme, I think I'm going to go in with this one here, this really nice looking pink shimmer, and see how that works. I'm first going in with a brush, just to see what we can do. Okay, I was not expecting that. That goes on really nicely with a brush and I haven't sprayed it. I'm really liking this. Ah, Heatherloo Cosmetics. Are you a brand I've been sleeping on? I'm just going to go in with the brush I used for that darker purple and I'm just going to bring that to connect my lower lash line up a little bit. I haven't actually put anything extra on the brush. Just uh, dragging what's there. What, what is there down? I don't know. I haven't got a clue what I'm talking about today, sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, just bring that down a bit. And then what I will do is just grab a tiny bit of that initial pink. And just buff out the edge with that just to uh, tie it all up a bit. I think I am going to take just a little bit actually of this pink up here because I want to just try another colour really um, I want to see what that does to the edge like the, the blend up here see if that helps with the blending a bit more oh okay that's that's nice Yeah, so that's definitely done what I want it to do. Ooh. Very nice. I'm just going to bring that purple up into that a bit more. Hmm. I am liking that. So I'm going to nip off camera, finish my face, and I'll come back and show you the final look and let you know what I think of this palette so far. So I will be back in just a moment. Okay, so this is the final look. What do you think? 
I really like this. I really liked how the shadows performed. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to playing with that one some more. And, uh, yeah. The fact that it's called... Oh, I can't even get into this now. The fact that it's called Ella is definitely going to make my niece very happy. And uh, there's definitely a lot more options uh, for looks in this palette. So I'm definitely looking forward to trying uh, some of the other colours. Um, but so far, I'm I'm pretty impressed. I quite like it. So I just added a bit of mascara, just the barium. That's how I roll. And the lippy I added was the Revolution Pro Supreme lipstick in the shade Provocateur. One of these ones. I just thought it went with the look really nice. I didn't add falsies today. I just I didn't think the look needed them. So uh, yeah, pretty girly look today. So Ella, I hope you're happy with this, my sweet pea. And for everyone else, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like it, give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. If you're not subscribed already, I hope you'll consider sticking around. And don't forget to ring the notification bell so you don't miss next time I upload. So until next time, look after yourselves. I'll see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.